Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny and I'm here with more Red Velvet. Uh, so, since the last Red Velvet reaction that I did, I have seen them live. Um, they, well, do you know what? There were only four of them. I believe it's Joy wasn't there. Um, I don't know why, you may know. But um, the other four girls, so I now know it's, there's Joy who was missing, Irene, Wendy, is it Yeri and Sulki? I'm not sure on those last two names on pronunciation, so um, please help me out in the comments. I will do a guide. I just wanted to do three more MVs for the songs that I really enjoyed at the festival. So, the festival. Red Velvet headlined uh, the Day One K-pop Day and they were brilliant. I mean, so beautiful, first off, beautiful girls, especially um, Irene, stunning. Um, loved their outfits, they sounded great, they just, they performed really well, because it was such a big stage and they're so small. They, uh, yeah, really good. I hope you watched the video. I did put timestamps on the video if you only wanted to watch Red Velvet, um, so, yeah, my video from that, you can see the videos that I took. We were stood a bit further back because it was a really hot day and we'd been quite in the crowd earlier on. Um, so we had a great view and what really, I say amazed me, I shouldn't be amazed anymore with K-pop, was there was some guys stood just to the side of us and one of them was really tall, big guy. He had on a cap, he had a big beard and long hair. He was dressed quite, I say, grungy, like, like a skater. Red Velvet comes on. He is jumping up and down. He's singing along. He knows choreo. And it was just a, a perfect example of judging someone by how they look on what they might be into. Yeah, he was having the best time. <laughs> and I was quite jealous that I didn't know all the songs and I didn't know the choreo because it looked really fun. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the first one I'm going to do is um, Feel My Rhythm. So they opened with this one. Um, and I say I enjoyed it. I think it's easier to enjoy songs in that kind of atmosphere with everyone around you and it's live and you're watching it being performed. And yeah, so uh, I'd be interested to hear the produced track and see the MV and see how I feel about it then. Yeah, so I'm going to do that first. So uh, please remember to like the video, comment down below. Um, have you ever seen Red Velvet Live? And if you have, how was it for you? And subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more Red Velvet along with other K-pop groups that we're looking at. That's so cool, like a painting. I don't think I can tell who's who yet. I knew certain members that think. Classical. And this, oh, look, that is awesome. This reminds me of like Black Swan vibes. I love those outfits. Okay, we're getting some very different looks. I didn't notice this classical music playing with it on my site. I don't remember that when I saw it live. They've got 
such very different things going on. But this is very bubblegum K-pop in those blue and pink outfits. And then this is very classic. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I love these outfits. And this is very for a ball. I'm sure this is going to wrap the ball in the beginning. I said, I haven't really been looking at the lyrics. I'm too interested in the outfit. Very sudden ending. Mm. Okay. So start with the song. Now, I do think I say I enjoyed it more live. I was in a very good place so i was in a good mood so you know that can affect how you feel it and hear a song um it was enjoyable i hadn't noticed the like classical music that was playing in it when i heard it live which is really interesting i i don't know if i like that or not it's different i think it's one of those things that it's so different for me that maybe i need a few proper listens to know whether I like it or not you know when you, something's just different you're like I don't know if it's bad different though it just takes some getting used to um it sounded great vocally quite a high tone um and yeah I don't feel like I can say more than that about the song until I, I listen to it a bit more I have to say, I wasn't reading lyrics. I just remember there being something about a ball early on. So, I, yeah, I need to do that too. Um, as for the MV, many outfit changes, which is exactly what I would do if I was making an MV because I'd want to wear so many different things. Um, the blue and pink, more modern outfits. I wasn't keen on those so much I but I don't know whether I wasn't keen on the outfits as outfits or I wasn't keen because I felt like the outfits and the hair with the song made it seem bubblegum so if I'd watched a whole video like that in those outfits I may have been saying oh this one's a bit too bubblegum pop for me which is interesting that just the outfits and how it's presented to you can change how you feel about a song because I didn't feel that way in other parts of the video. Like, I loved all the ball gown sort of stuff. And one of them was dressed as like a dark queen, with like the dark hair, the dark lipstick and the thorny sort of crown. I could never wear it, but I loved it. Um, yeah, and all the ball gowns and all the, the diamonds and they just looked amazing princess-like except for the one dark queen um but i think my fave or i don't know about my favorite look because i really loved the the black and white with the boots um 
when they were wearing those and obviously with the plainer background doing choreo with that classical music it reminded me a bit of black swan um and i would love to see or maybe they have one like a dance practice in those outfits just doing choreo that would be good um but then i also loved the more i say like classic outfits when they were in they were outdoors and they had like hats and things and it was just very pretty but then do you know what the way the video started like it was a painting i could have watched a whole mv done like that i thought that was so clever and so interesting that yeah i could have just watched a whole mv of that um yes yeah, so that's my thoughts on feel my rhythm i need more listens to know how i feel about it so next up is uh peekaboo i remember this one being played and i remember i can just remember they go peek peekaboo that like that i think and having a little like shoulder dance to it um and of course i was at the festival with uh, jd who does a lot of k-pop reactions with me she said she hasn't really gone in to red velvet yet but she does have some of their songs and uh, peekaboo is one of the ones that she does have because she really likes it so uh yeah we'll do that one now okay so there's no subtitles on this one which to be honest makes no difference to me i really struggle to read them and watch what's going on because i get distracted by outfits and hair and just how good everybody looks is she holding a crossbow or a gun Is this like a werewolf video? Mm -hmm. Full moon? Okay, it's a turn. Criminals? I already like this one more than Feel My Rhythm, I think. It is a crossbow. I do wonder whether the lyrics would help me with what's going on here. Are they supposed to be like immortal? Are in a cult? If they're a cult, I want in. They just they kill pizza guys?
first off, the song. I really like that. That's really catchy. Mm -mm -mm. I'd be doing my shoulder dance when I go around the house. Sometimes a butt wiggle, I think. Yeah. And really easy to sing along with the peekaboo bit. Yeah, I remember that being really popular at the festival. Um, I can see why. So, the video. <laughs> so they are vampires, werewolves, something. And they hunt pizza delivery guys. Because we saw the stack of pizzas and all the shirts on the ones they've got that they're displaying like a serial killer, their trophies. Um, and when he was on the phone there, the poster on the side was missing delivery boys. So that's what they're doing. And it's like they got him in the end as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, do you know what didn't register to me until right at the end when he was on the phone? was that this was obviously in America, set in the US, because the person on the phone was American. He was not Korean. It didn't occur to me until the end. Um, yeah, so... Now we know how Red Velvet stay looking so young and beautiful. They eat pizza delivery boys instead of the pizza. That's where I've been going wrong my whole life. The last one for this video is going to be uh, the song that the girls finished their set with uh, because everyone was very excited about it I really enjoyed it but I can't remember how it goes because I only heard it that time um, Red Flavor uh, another one that JD said she really likes so um, that's what we're going to do last. Again, there's no subs for this one, but would I read them? Who knows? Though I'm actually quite surprised, you know, as far as I'm aware, Red Velvet are a big group. SM Entertainment are a very big company. Why do you not have subs on your videos? I know people may be saying to me, Jenny, you don't have subs on yours. Because the auto-generated ones are so bad that I have to type them out myself and it takes so long. That's why I don't have them. But they can do that. They have the people to do it. They have the money to spend. Okay, so it's like an advert. I like this telling me who's who down here. Summery, the fruit makes me think of summer. Oh, the red really suits her. Especially when she took it down. This is quite bubblegum, but I, I actually I quite like it. Got a very good beat to it. Is that Yuri? I really enjoy this chorus. I'm gonna take it. 
I love these scenes they're doing out. Is it a balcony? In those outfits. I love that look, those outfits. Okay, so we're gonna start with the song. Um, so, as I said during, that was quite bubblegum pop at times, for me anyway, but then it kind of wasn't. It was quite anthemy as well, like a charm in the chorus. think I just know that either way I really like that um I could dance around to that quite easily um some great outfits is it joy that had the red hair when it was down that looks stunning and I think the blonde one in this one was Yeri am I saying that right is she the matinee because She, I, I get a, the vibe from her that she could be the youngest, like the baby of the group. Is it still a matinee if it's girls, or is that just the boys' term? Please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. Interesting video done like um, adverts and along with them dancing and all the fruit. Um, yeah, it, it made it made it a summer song I think had adding all those bits in um, again it's one of those that the vibe you get from the song could change depending on the MV I said that gave me a summer vibe is it because of the fruit or is it because the song on its own would have given me a summer vibe I don't know okay I can see why they ended with that though because it's so happy um, yeah so all in all, so that's Feel My Rhythm, Peekaboo, and Red Flavor. I would say my favorite of the three is Peekaboo. But I'd really enjoy dancing around to Red Flavor as well. Okay, so that was my reaction to those three Red Velvet songs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.